Hello everybody and welcome to the Merwin Music YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I built this quick and easy equipment rack. So somebody was having an estate sale in my neighborhood with a bunch of audio equipment for sale. So I picked up some equipment to use at my church, but all of the rack space that is there in the sound booth is currently full. Luckily they also had two pairs of 14 unit rack rails for sale, so I bought those two and got to work building a rack to put everything in. If you want to build a cabinet like this yourself, you can get some rails online or from your local music store, and they'll probably cost anywhere from $15 to $30. For the wood, I used half a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood, which cost about $25. And you'll also need some screws and spray paint, which will cost a couple of dollars. With a grand total of around $50 to buy all the materials, that still comes in less than half the price of similar commercial options, so I think it is definitely worth building. I started by ripping the plywood down to 16 inches, which is the depth of the cabinet, and then I cut two pieces for the sides. The 14 unit rails I had were 24 and a half inches long, so I added a 16th for some wiggle room and cut the pieces to 24 and 9 sixteenths. Then I cut the top and bottom panel to length. The inside dimensions of an equipment rack is 19 inches, but we want to add a 16th for some wiggle room. So I took 19 inches plus a 16th plus an inch and a half for the thickness of my two sides and cut the pieces to 20 and 9 16 inches. Then I put the box together with some glue and two inch screws, drilling some holes and countersinks before putting in the screws to prevent the plywood from splitting. I then gave the box a real quick sanding, and then using a scrap of MDF, I set the rails a half inch back from the front of the box and used some number eight 5 8 inch screws to attach the rails. At this point, you could be done, but I used a $1 can of black spray paint just to help the rack blend in better in the sound booth where it is going. And that is all there is to it. Overall, the project only took me a couple of hours. It isn't the prettiest of racks, but neither is the place where it is going. So it works and that is all that matters. Obviously you could change the height of this if you wanted a different number of rack spaces. The only critical things you need to worry about is that your box is square and that the inside width is 19 inches plus 1 16th. So if you need to build a rack and you just need it to work, then hopefully this was a helpful look at how to build one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video and want to see more like it in the future. But most of all, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.